hypothetical blowjob is worth at least twice that. Okay, I think you guys are probably warmed up. You guys ready for the headliner? Yes? That was good, but I want at least uh, five times that much energy. This guy is fucking fantastic. Are you guys ready for your headliner or not? Yes, you are all in luck. This guy has done it all. He's toured the world. He's had TV specials. He's been on CBC's The Debaters. Uh, he's not only one of my best friends, but absolutely one of my all-time favorite comedians to watch. So I'm in for a treat, too. Please welcome the stage, the one, the only, the lovely and talented Simon King, everybody! Your friends are headliners and they open for you because they're also reckless drunks and they have to need money for booze, right? So it works out well. We gotta keep them in fedoras and alcohol, so. Yeah, it's good to be a... I never knew what mission was named for. I figured the mission is getting drunk in a parking lot when you're 17. That's yeah! what I figured it is. I grew up in Langley, so uh, you guys are technically the suburbs. <laughs> you know you're fucked when you're the suburbs of Langley. <laughs> You just drive far enough and, yeah, this is fucking, yeah. Nor are we north of Hope? Where the fuck are we? We're beyond Hope. That's where the fuck we are. So, yeah, this is, uh, this is great. It's great to be here, and uh, thank you for, for coming out to the show. Um, yeah, so, um, I think we should send one Canadian guy to fight ISIS. Just one dude. That's all we should send. We don't need to send a lot. We need to send one guy. A guy named Gord with like a rye and no sleeves on his vest. You know, he just shows up with a broken uh, lacrosse stick. Hey, you fucking hoser. Hey, you wanna fucking you treat me like shit? You wanna fuck a piece of me, I says? I'll fucking take you out right now, you motherfucker. Just pulls up in like an F-150 with one door that's the wrong color. Just in his skates because he fights better because the equilibrium, eh? You imagine if we just sent one guy to fight ISIS? Like other countries, they'll send their, the, the Americans will send everyone they have. We'll just send one dude who got laid off from the fucking rig up north. Like, <laughs> And he's in a bad mood because his cocaine is cheap and shitty now because he doesn't have the money he used to have, so it's mostly baby laxative. So he just shows up and goes, I'll fuck you, I'll fuck you, I'll fuck you, piece of shit, I'm fucking Canadian, I'll fucking bite you all, hey, fucking. Just like a guy, like a frustrated Canucks fan who realized that they're never making a run again, so just, Oh, let me guess, it's a rebuilding year? Yeah, yeah so uh, that's what we should send to fight ISIS. I like this too, I dress, um, I dress like a little bit like a lumberjack to fuck up women's lumberjack fantasies because women always think a lumberjack's gonna be a guy with six pack abs who cuts trees down with his dick, but it's me. A guy who looks like he has a drinking problem who got laid off from the mill because he fucked up his elbow. That's what the fuck. There's your lumberjack fantasy right there. And everyone's like, you have a man bun. Like I give a shit about my appearance. Everyone's like, you should get a better haircut. Really? If you go up to the guy with five cars on blocks in his front yard and go, you need to give that 67 Cutlass a fucking paint job. No, I don't care. I wear clothes I find. We're fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, shit's going great. I'm in mission. Things are fucking hammering down. Yeah. Motherfuckers, because houses in Vancouver are so expensive, you're gonna be filled up with skinny jean fucks wandering around here trying to find a place to write on their typewriters at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. No, it's happening! It's happening! It's happening! Yeah! Yeah, they're coming! They're just packing up their Subarus and fucking puttering out with their cravats and their self-centered, self-worth bullshit. One of them go, well, we need a better coffee shop here. I'm pretty sure they are paying nine bucks for a latte. Why are you paying nine bucks for a latte? Because some dickweed with facial hair and looks like he ties women to railroad tracks in the 1800s decided, nah, I'm in a band called Nine Xylophones. We're taking other mission. Fuck them, stop them at the border. Get them before they get here. Anyone who just shows up, and only drinks fucking, uh, anyone who just shows up and only drinks old fashions, just kick them in the dick and send them back to fucking where they go. It's like, off you go, back to fucking Main Street, so. 